What's up guys and gals? Let's trade for some cows. That's weird that that rhymed. Gals and cows. I don't really feel like that should rhyme, but it ended up working that way, so I'm not going to question it too hard. Let's make sure that we get at least a couple cows out of this guy before we go any further. Let me see how close I can get this thing to... Oh god, I think we got to go up to 132 maybe? Oh, so close. So close. 133. But he's going to want 144 for the two cows. I, at the bare minimum, want to have a couple of cows in here, so... Let's get at least two, because obviously you need two cows to tango. We'll take the two for now. We'll call this a cattle farm. And we'll allocate somebody to work there. Some of the farmers from these orchards will probably do it. And then it should be alright. Anything off the top from right now... And so with that 200, we gotta bring that down by, like, maybe go down to 68-ish? That should put me in the region, almost. So, 67. We'll take one more cow. And then from there, we'll give ourselves a little bit of time to replenish some of our clothing. And that's going to be all the cows that I shall take from here on out. Let's follow this cow on his way. I named this one Wiggles. Come along, Wiggles! Let's go to the farm. Oh, he's going to go underwater. He's a submarine cow. He's one of those cows that was born with gills. There's a lot of radiation around here. It's kind of like Fallout. They're turning into Brahmin. Over here, we should have some guys doing some stuff. It may be smart to throw, like, two more guys out here to maybe work on this stuff. No. No, not at all. Okay, we'll do one more so that we can get a cow farm going. We'll do two more. There we go. I feel good about the situation. These cows are going to be useful for a number of reasons. So why do I want cows so badly? Well, they give us leather. That's a big one right there. So the rawhide is going to be useful in using all of our tailoring goods. The other thing that's going to be nice, and I should connect this with a road, too, while we're at it. Go to, I don't know where that road's going to break. Yeah, there it is. We'll bring this one full circle. Food may suffer this season, based on the fact that we lost an orchard. Although, since we've been maxed out for so long now, I don't think anything bad's going to happen. It should be all right. Should be out from underneath the hangman's noose, I suppose. 40 out of 40 done there. How is this one filling up? This one's got to be filling up quick. We've already done 11. God. So many people stop dying. I wish we could we could probably do some research and figure out a way to keep people from dying. Just keep them immortal for as long as we can. We're also stocking up on an insane amount of medicine. Somebody's now starving, but I think it's probably just because he's far away from home. Let's look for little crevices that we can fill in. So we've got a lot of extra stone, so we want to continue upgrading people. Let's do a three for right there. So we'll take these three and we're going to upgrade these guys. Make them have a little bit more awesome of houses. I'm going to start out with the stone houses in here. And once I get everybody optimized, we'll start moving to other locations. This is the place that everybody visits in the first place. So this is where everybody comes to. This is our city center, sort of. Up until we get a little bit larger. Now, if I was going for like a record or anything and I was trying to have loads and loads of people living in my society, this is not the most efficient build pattern. I would have been a lot more careful about where I placed my houses. But as it stands right now, this is about the best we're going to be able to do with some of the space. Might also be a good idea to get rid of all this and just develop all this down here into the corner so it's got kind of a Bay Area thing going on right here. And then we can kind of migrate everything else maybe over to here, possibly? Might work out. Or actually migrate another one off over this direction so that we can develop all that. I haven't decided just yet, but there's a lot of interesting things we could do with the supplies that we have. It appears as though we aren't going to have to put in new wood choppers, which is really, really good. If you're taking a look at our firewood supply right now, right there, 1900 firewood is making it through. So it was an issue where I just needed to increase the amount of firewood that they were producing each year. So we don't need to increase our efficiency or anything like that just yet. Hopefully these cows get to breeding. I've been feeding them all kinds of chemicals and things, so I'm hoping the chemicals get them nice and frisky. So that in the future we'll have lots of baby cows. Let's destroy the remainder of those materials over the winter. If we can get rid of this little forested area, I'd be pretty happy. I mean, this isn't like a, it needs to happen right now sort of thing, but we are going to develop this region and turn it into kind of a habitable space. We'll also start putting in some fishing lodges or something in here might be a cool idea. Maybe one right there. Maybe another one right here. You guys know how it goes. Lots of fishing lodges and things. There's only two building jobs left to be done. They got the houses upgraded then, I'm assuming. Yes, indeedly doodly. So there it is. The houses have been upgraded. People are dying like crazy because their houses are so comfortable that it has comforted them to death. They got so comfortable that they fell asleep and died. I wish I could get that comfortable some days. 
Sometimes the curse of insomnia, my friends. We should be pretty low on wool coats now. But what is he trading, just in case? He's got just a bunch of stuff. Yeah, send him on his way. Sakori, I don't like you. I'm really, really excited about this apple field over here. And you'll forgive me for stopping for just a moment right there. But I am excited about this apple field. Anytime I get to diversify the amount of crops that I have, I get excited about that for some weird arbitrary reason. I don't know why it makes me happy to diversify my crops, but it does. It makes me really happy when I'm growing different things. Starving guy over there. We got the pumpkin field. I may try and convert some of these to pumpkin too. So we'll have like two pumpkin fields, some squash fields. Limit the damage if we ever end up with a wildfire of infection running around. And I don't guess that I can build over the top of these, can I? Nope. Can I destroy them? Like, no, I can't collect stone from them. I can't destroy them either. Yeah, I could see how eventually you're going to have to come up with some way to offset the fact that you're just going to have like thousands of graves everywhere. Kind of a weird Necronish type situation where everything is dead and everything's in ossuary. It's just like, what in the hell? This project's coming along okay down here. I wish they were going a bit quicker, though. 39 children, 160. We need to get more... We need to get a lot more houses in so that if we get another burst of nomads in the next year or two, we'll have a lot of places for them to go. At which point it may be time to start focusing on a bit more farming, possibly. Like, for example, I may develop to the left of the road right here, and to the right of the road might be food production. We have lots of raw supply right now, so everything should be alright. God, people dying of old age. You wouldn't realize how many people are dying of old age until you actually started to pay attention to it. And then once you start thinking about it, like, man, there are a lot of people dying of old age. I don't know why it is that the society always feels like it has more old people than it does young people. Like, the, uh, the supply of guys that you have doesn't feel constant. Come on, laborers, get the job done. I believe in you. Put your backs into it, you lazy mugs. I would also prefer that those trees be top down so that we can replace this as a little apple orchard in the middle of town. Or I can put houses in right here. Since they've got a storage barn right here that's full of food, they may have a little bit better luck, I think. And then we could just develop food out here, maybe. I'll probably put a market down here somewhere just to make sure that the people on the outlying... Well, people on the outlying outskirts rather than the inskirts find themselves to be in a appreciable situation. Is this out yet? This has got to be pretty close. 5% stone remaining? Yeah, so it's almost done. We're going to need to find another place for it as well. I don't think that over here would be a poor choice, actually. This might be an okay choice. Let's run some roads so that we can think about the way that everything's going to be organized before we go any further. So I'll maybe run... Oh, that's not going to do that for me. Okay, that's fine. Well, I don't want to run a road over there anyways, dicks. We'll take a... Why is that... What? Why is that kink there? Looks like there's a tree in the way, but typically it just ignores the trees and goes straight through. Maybe I'll have to wait till this is all forested out. And then we shall have the space that we require, the space that we need, the space that we want. Mmm, yes. The space that we want in order to put the roads to all the corners of the kingdom. Have another guy over here trying to peddle his wares. How many coats am I stocking right now? 260? That's alright. He's got squash seeds and apple seeds. We already have both of those. Get on out of here. I could have ordered something else. So that was probably a bad plan, but... Eh. Whatever. Permala? It's like Pamela, but she's always got a perm. She's always rocking the jerry curl or something. I don't think a jerry curl's a perm. The perm... My dad had a perm back in the day. God. My dad's wedding photo. He had like a baby blue, like one of those old... I don't even know what it was called. It's not a leisure suit, but it's one of those... It's a tuxedo that's baby blue, basically. And he had a perm back in the day. I have friends whose hair looks like they have a perm, but they don't necessarily have one. I'm just messing around. He's making jokes. Making jokes. Let's continue on with the road. Okay. Now this should be... I wish you had a little meter down here. Like There's like this nice empty space right here. Developers would be really cool if you had a countdown meter over here that told you how long it was going to be before a particular area was full. It just took like a mathematical average. So you could have one on the cemetery, you could have one on the cows, you could have one on the orchard. 
It might add too many computations to the game, though. I don't know. I used to program, so I know vaguely how these things tend to work when you, like, pile them on top of each other. Sometimes you end up with way too many computations happening. But I'm sure there's a way to, like, simplify it somehow. A lot of extra workers over here. We're almost out of stone space, which is bad. I think I'll probably put the new stone quarry right here. And we'll put in... Let me see my roads here. So that's going to give me a little bit of space. So maybe something like that for some of the... Actually, let's place the stone quarry first while we're thinking about it. I think that might be a better way to behave here since I'm using it as the measure of how deep of a road I need to build. So if I'm using it as a measure, let's use it as a measure, if you know what I mean. Let's also... We've got a couple more builders ready to go, so we'll assign them to building the new quarry. Once we've got the new quarry, we'll try and assign more people over here, although sometimes you end up in a weird situation where the guys from the quarry, these all count as miners, so they may redistribute themselves off to this side. We just need to make sure that there's nine guys over here. So that works out okay. This is going to be their replacement place. And now we can run some of them roads. So let's take a road. We can't do that. Where is the road going to stop at? It's right there. We'll run the road out like so. And I haven't decided what I want to do with it yet, but that's where it's going to go. This is going to be kind of a farming slash just anything we can really fit in, to be honest. And then we'll just kind of build houses and fisheries all around here. Down here it gets kind of needlessly hilly, and so I'm not positive we're going to be able to make any sort of astute use of this. It's not an area, I mean, it would have been nice maybe to plop the stone quarry down in here since it's kind of useless area anyways, but I didn't think about it until it happened, so too late for that. We're going to continue deforesting down here. I'm going to watch my firewood and everything just to make sure. It's been a while since I started paying attention to it. I'll give them a couple more workers to work in the Forester's Lodge. Make sure that everybody has, like, three. You can leave them running with two, but three is kind of nice. We're running out of coal over here, which makes me think that the amount of tools that we have may be petering out on me. I'm just doddering off. Maybe I should leave that at 250 for now. 350 might be a bit too much to ask. A merchant has arrived. We also have nomads. Okay, so we've got a couple things to deal with right now. We've got somebody who's here with a bunch of stuff, like just a ton of food. We don't need food. Can I order anything? You're just purely food, so that's all that Renee does is food, so we don't need you right now. Let's also deal with the fact that we have nomads hanging out. We have 38 nomads. We're going to allow them, so that's going to bring us up a little bit. And so they're all without homes right now. And we want to look at our stockpiles and figure out where we have a lot of food being stored, and that's the area around which we want to build a lot of these houses. This is looking okay over here. They may hurt a little bit for firewood. Or at least they may have a little bit of a walk in front of them to get firewood. But... Yeah, it's kind of an if. But if I build a bunch of houses over here, we should be alright. So let's get going on those. Especially since we have new labor. I think I'm going to try and keep this like so, maybe. Just try and make optimal use of space for now. And how did I know that was going to backfire on me? So we won't do those right there. Let me run the roads. I always do better if I do my roads. That's why... Alright, so we've got roads right there. Need a couple more houses. I don't know if anybody's going to be able to get to that house if I block it in, so we're not going to block it in for now. And so a whole bunch of new expansion happening. We need a bunch of workers to get this done, so I'm going to allocate at least 25 workers to make sure that this happens. 
right this second. Because it's early in the summer and we need to get the job done. We have 22 people who are without homes. That is terrible. That is a situation that could rapidly just kind of devolve on us and end up with a lot of body bags. A whole lot of black plastic. Oh, they do go away after a while. A row of them has vanished. So after a while, they do despawn. So we should be able to rotate. Kind of do, I guess, a cro It's kind of like a crop circulation or it's kind of like crop rotation except with corpse. It's corpse rotation. Which is kind of gnarly. I bet if you build a house right here, you'd probably have all kinds of haunting problems. And we also want to keep an eye on our food usage, because this is a lot of new mouths to feed. Our number is dropped, which means our quarry is good to go. Let's get rid of everybody from over here. And then we'll bulldoze it. Maybe this fills up over time, too. It'd be nice if it collected sediment over a while. That'd be a really cool. That would be a really really cool system. I mean, it would take a long time. I calculated how long it took a river. I did. I had to do that as a project in my junior year. I had to take a look at this. It was a little tiny creek. Like it was nothing. It was a creek. It was a stream that was only probably an inch or two deep and only three or four feet wide. And I had to calculate how long it took that stream to cut down this huge valley that I was looking at. And it wasn't as long as you would have thought, because apparently that area gets a lot of runoff. We calculated how much water flows through a given point at a moment. And then the, the bag that you use to count the water, like the little spinny thing that counts the water, it's also got a bag on the back end that catches sediment, and so you keep time while you catch sediment. And so it tabulates simultaneously how much water has gone through, and then also how much sediment has gone through. Very, very cool little device. These guys are all working, doing their thing now. We have a lot of extras right now and so I may take a road right here and just go like bim bam bomb like so and what's outside of his range just about everything in fact so that's cool we'll probably develop this as well all the way up here do we have anybody homeless anymore no but the houses are pretty crowded we have a lot of people in each house so, we probably want to finish off all these other projects, too. Just to say that we did. We can reduce the amount of builders that we have now, too. Which means that I can reallocate them to other works. Such as gathering, perhaps. So we'll go eight gatherers right there. And that'll help us out with food, because that was something that I was concerning myself with. We're missing a couple foresters, so let's fill in a couple of foresters right now. Not a ton, but we'll fill in some. It looks like this last immigration was pretty much adult, so we got a lot of laborers out of that one. We also have some new miners. So we may want to put all of them to work, too. And then I'll leave the remainder where it's at right now. The school should be full. The school should be up to the brim. The gravestones are still disappearing, which is nice. The cattle are not quite there yet. We've only gotten a couple cattle. It's taken a while for this to kind of exponentially increase. And I think populations... Actually, I think populations are logarithmic. Never mind. I think populations are like bag theory. They aren't exponential. They're logarithmic. But anyways, at a certain point, we should... My statistical analysis classes are no longer sticking with me. But anyways, my data structures. Nothing that... He, uh, I'm going to order some wheat seeds so that we can get breweries going. So let's do that. And the order is going to be just once, and then we'll send him on his way. Now, I reckon we're probably going to need a bit more firewood with how things are staging out right now. So maybe increase the fuel limit to 2,500 to make space. And I don't think we're probably going to have to put in a new wood chopper. I, I have trouble imagining that with 80 new people, we're not going to need a new wood chopper over here somewhere. So those little things that you think about when you're in this situation. In fact, I'll probably jump ahead of that right now. And I'll just put one in right this second right there. So that we have one already. If we don't need it, fantastic. If we do need it, then it's already in place and we have nothing to worry about. Our job has been taken care of for us. And what could be better than that? Like getting to work and finding that somebody else has done all your work for you. It almost seems like cheating. It almost seems like cheating. But if they do it without you asking, eh, I'm okay with it. Not my problem. That's just the kind of person... I mean, I'll feel guilty, obviously. But I'm still not going to complain about it. I'll be like, all right, cool. This graveyard is now full up, so we need to bulldoze it sooner rather than later so that the graves start going away.
We have almost 300 citizens right now. This last couple episodes, we've been doing actually a lot of building. It is looking like food is taking a pretty big hit. And that leaves us with about one season to figure out how we want to fix it. Now, we do have this apple field that's finally being harvested. So we may see something good happen right there. I would also say that we should probably develop this land back here. Put in another storage barn. Or this may be the time for our market. Eh, we'll stick with the storage barn for now. We'll leave space for a market so that we can use it. And with our surplus population... We're gonna make a couple little just baby crop fields over here. So there's like a 12 by 12 right there. 12 by 11 right there, why not? Like maybe a little 10 by 10 over here. I don't know what I want those to be filled with, but other than joy and glad tidings and fertility, I need them to be filled with something that we can eat. We've only got pumpkin and squash. We may want to start trading for different seeds pretty soon. I don't know if wheat can just be used as a general purpose food. I haven't noticed anything like a baker or anything like that in the game. So I don't know if that's going to be something useful. It's early summer. It's probably too late to plant. So I'm just going to leave those where they are. We should make it out the back end of winter without any problems. It looks like the harvest is starting. I am going to watch that number. But our best chances at catching up are probably going to be next year. What have you got for me? Corn seeds. I will definitely take some corn. In fact, I would rather have that than anything else. So, for that, we're going to have to go up by... I always mess this up. It's either going to be 6 or 7. I think it's probably going to be 7. Yeah, I should probably learn. I've done this problem like 8 times now. And we'll take the corn seeds. Let's take those. And what I'll do... And corn, are, that's a crop that really destroys the earth. And so my guess is this is going to be a crop that has a really high yield. But at some point... We'll damage the soil once they fix the way that crop rotation works. We'll put people in the fields out here, and that gives us space for a couple more farmers. I'm not going to go the full 10. I'll probably go, like, there. We'll go down to 32, and it should be okay. But those aren't going to be planted, I don't think. I mean, corn is fairly easy to grow. You can grow it just about anywhere. So there's got to be some kind of penalty around growing it. Has the harvest begun to come in yet? It has not. So we're still kind of operating on the premises of we don't know what we're going to have at the end of this year. I may be overstocking myself with food. Just one of those little stipulations that I've, I also need to take my builders off. One of those little stipulations that I failed to make because I may be overstocking myself with food. I don't know how any of these planting operations are going to go. We also need another guy right there to help out with the wood chopping operation because it's getting pretty close to the end of the year. Yeah, and we still haven't recovered our firewood yet, so I think I probably needed a new guy finally. I thought the gravestone fell into a pile of stone all of a sudden. I'm also going to be watching this pit to see if it ever goes anywhere. That thing's not even that deep. I've seen quarries way deeper than that. And for now, we're just going to leave things sitting, I think. I may also come up with some housing solutions for out here, but... We do have a lot of farmers and things. So maybe I'll go put some houses in right there since there's no room for anything else. That leaves me with room for a road. We'll allocate all these guys as builders to get the gerb done. And so yeah, we only made 2,000 food on that run. Then again, a lot of the harvests aren't coming in either. How many apples did we get out of that? Out of curiosity. Or did they bring them down here? Ooh, they brought them down to the lower area. Okay, that's fine. I mean, it was expected. And it should be okay. We're maxed out on stone, are we? Well, how about we raise that limit then? Because I'm going to be doing a lot of upgrading here in the future. Firewood holding reasonably steady. Food holding kind of steady. I mean, we're losing about 3,000 per season. These two fields should help out with that. Let's run a road back around here. 
And I think that's one of the long game things you sort of learn when you're playing Banished, is eventually you learn that with there's, when there's a problem, you need to get on it right this second. You can't wait for it. It needs to happen now rather than later. And if you wait till you're already out of the resources you need, you're toast. Hey, a perfect fit. How often does that happen? Couldn't have asked for anything better. So we'll do a couple more houses right there. We'll leave people allocated to their jobs. And I think we've got to almost be at the space where we're about done with the episode. We've got like four or five minutes left, I think. So I'll leave it going for just a bit longer. And after that point, we're going to start thinking about... The remainder of our builders. So we've got corn now. Got a couple corn farms. Maybe I'll intersparse some of these up here with corn as well. We call that one a corn plantation. Pumpkin, squash, squash, pumpkin. Okay, that should be fine. Over here on this side, we've got chestnut. That's okay. We call that corn as well. And then everything looks okay. I think we'll be all right. I should probably fill this with houses now so that we don't have wasted space. Begin the sprawl. As it happens. Foresters are sitting at 28. I'm not going to allocate anybody more to forestry. So yeah, we've taken a we've taken a very very large hit on food right now. So hopefully this season we could do a little bit better, to the extent that I almost think I may want to work a little bit harder on it. Let's so maybe put in a couple of little nine by nines over here. couple more little tiny plantations to be worked the second we get into spring. So this one, I'm going to have you be pumpkin. And it's so weird, like, as you learn to play the game, like, I like how my outskirts are way more, like, this right here is just a mess. This is just random stuff everywhere, whereas as you start to plan and you have, like, extra supplies, you go out to the outskirts of your city and things just start to look a little bit nicer. I need these to be planted very shortly. Call that squash, and then we'll call this one corn as well. Housing's looking good right now. I may also consider dropping in a couple of fishermen. Like, a fisherman right here I don't think would kill anybody. If he can fit in between the stone wall. If he can make it back in, I don't think it's going to hurt anything. I have pumpkin, squash, pumpkin, squash... Corn, corn, so it's probably time for another corn. We'll call that one a corn. And one more time. That puts us up to 43, so let's do like three more people over there to work the farms. We'll drop off on some of these builders too, which is where a lot of my surplus labor is going. Alright, guys. Things are looking amazing right now. I'm really, really happy with where we're at. Our food is dropping off, so we may hit a famine pretty shortly. It depends if all of these farms produce like I need them to produce, basically. It could also be worth considering dropping a few more fishermen. We only have 12. So let's look at the possibility of maybe putting in a fishery up here. Then just like maybe giving him a little road that leads to all this. Come on, work with me here. There we go. So we can put in a fishing dock right there. We can also drop a fishing dock, maybe, around this region. I get the angularity wrong all the time. I apologize if that's bugging you that I can't get these straightened out the way I want to. Could also maybe put one right... And there's one right there. Might be a little too close. It's worth entertaining the possibility of one right there, though. I might be able to run a road along that. No? Well, then don't do it. If I can't run a road, I don't want it. I want it my way or no way.
That field's a little late in the season. I don't know if that one's going to even get planted. Ooh, we are right on the edge, right? Oh, our clothing is disappearing as well. We're not stocking... Oh, we're stocking wool to weird areas, too. All right, well, we'll watch for how our numbers recover. I mean, we've got a lot of people getting huge yields right now, which is going to be a benefit to us, so... Yeah, I think we should be all right. Try not to talk right now because I'm fighting a sneeze. I just have one of those nasty little obnoxious sneezes that's hanging out in the top of your nose, but it just won't go. It's just like, no! Never! You can't get me! And it's just clinging to a hair in there somewhere like Indiana Jones just doing a snare. Nah, 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 nah. That's pretty gnarly. And plus, where would you buy an appropriate hat for that situation? As a sneeze. I mean, I don't think there's... Oh, yeah, we got something. An award? Settlement. I don't know what that means. I assume it means that we've been given some kind of accolade. We got awarded one of those earlier on. And so here we go. This is probably going to be around one of the last things we do in this episode is watch the harvest come in. And the corn, I'm surprised by how quickly it grew. Although we had a really good harvest this year. Why did some of these get chopped down? Why are some of these trees gone? I'm slightly concerned about that. So we may not be ahead of the harvest enough. We may get hit with a really, really big famine right here. I mean, I tried. I did everything within my power to make sure that bad things didn't happen. At a certain point, you've got to assume people are going to stop restocking their houses. But it doesn't look like it. It appears as though they're on a restocking spree right now. And almost all of the fields are pretty much totally harvested. Yikes! I could be completely and totally wrong. Let's hope we don't get an early frost. There we go, so the restocking spree looks like it finished. Ooh, we got an early frost. I don't know. The frost, what it's gonna do is it's gonna kill off the crops. You'll see them start disappearing. We really don't want a frost. It may be worth it to allocate a few more guys then and just make sure that everything gets done every year. Because we are kind... We're hanging in there. I mean, we recovered quite a bit. Gaining a surplus of 7,000 food in one season. It begs the question, though, whether you're going to make it out the other end or not. We'll call this another four. So we'll go up to another divisible by four. They're not totally overlapped, so they should be okay. They shouldn't hurt each other's productivity. Up on this end, though, it might be a wise idea to stick another one in right here, maybe. Something like that right there might benefit us. I mean, we've got a labor surplus right now, so we may as well spend it, right? I don't really feel like dying out after I've done all this work. That's my big fear right now. I've just done way too much work to die out at this point. We'll put in a fisherman right there. And he's still going to be overlapping slightly. Might be able to sneak him over a little bit. Be a bit more clever about his placement. There we go. So we'll place him right there. there's going to be any real harm by putting one in right there either. And so we've expanded all of our food supplies in this episode. So let's recap what we've been through here in Helgar's Hole. Ooh, we're losing herbs too for the first time in a while. Interesting. I've also heard rumors that once your cattle farm is done, like it takes absolutely forever to get done. But once it is done, I've heard that one cattle farm with like 25 cows can really feed a ton of people. I hear the sound of trees being chopped. We've already got a gatherer's hut in there. Okay, so they're doing their job. We may want to put in another herbalist lodge. I got rid of all my builders, so none of that is getting done. 
And so while we finish off the remainder, the last couple of these little fish lodges or these little fishing docks, my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here in the Nerd Castle for another episode of Banished by Shining Rock Studio. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Take care out there, everybody. And we are at, like, what, 300 civilians right now? I've heard the game doesn't really get excessively nasty until you hit, like, 1,000. But anyways, it seems like it's getting pretty hectic for me. Take care out there, everybody, and I will see you next time.